Hi Revolution Golfers, Sean Foley here and I'm going to answer one of the questions from one of our members. Mark asked the question that we get quite often and I hear it all the time even at the pro level but it has to do with alignment. Unfortunately alignment is something that we're not paying attention to as much as we should knowing that once we start out where we point that club face is going to have between 75 percent and 85 percent the responsibility on where the ball is going to start. The tendency that I see in all the pro-ams that I do on the PGA Tour, the tendency is for the players to get aimed way right. And what happens is as soon as we aim way right, we have incentive to make the ball come back to the left. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. But ideally is how do we set up to a golf ball if we're not on the range? So here obviously we're on a range. You can see I've got one ball, two ball, three ball, then a stick. All of these are in line with the flag. And part of the reason that I'm doing this is because you have to trick your eyes into realizing that the target is actually more right of you than you think optically because you stand beside the ball. So this would kind of be typical of what I see in a pro-am. So the player comes in, they get their target, then they walk in from like almost this far out. So what happens is they walk into the ball, that target's gonna shift more and more right. And as they come in, they put their feet down first and then their club and then they look up kind of like this. Now, what happens is if, if I take my neck and I tilt it this way, I can see this whole expansive area. But if I get in over it and I just have my ear work towards the ground as my neck tilts this way, I can really see what's in front of me. So this is one of the things that makes you think that you're aimed properly, but you're not. So what I would advise is a different sequence of events, starting with my club head first, to an intermediate target, then my eyes, and then moving in. So it looks something like this. So as I come in, my intermediate target obviously here is the ball in front, but it would be, say, a piece of brown grass on the ground. Knowing how important the club face is in me achieving success, I'm going to, like a surgeon, make sure, and you'll see this on TV, make sure that that club face is dialed into where it needs to be. Now I'm going to take my eyes and run it down from ball to ball to stick, and as my head is tilting and my ears moving towards the ground, the first thing I can see is the flag that I'm aimed at. Now I keep my attention and awareness out on the flag as I set up my feet. Now I know I'm in a pretty good situation to go ahead and hit the shot. So if you're struggling with coming over the top and doing all the things that many of our tips can help you with, the first place to start is aiming and understanding that most people that I work with, when I ask them where their target is, they don't necessarily even know. So how can you expect to be competent and have a higher probability for success if you don't really work on aiming? So that sequence again quickly is, I come in, get the face lined up to my intermediate point. Then I go eyes to the target. I set my feet up keep my awareness at the target and as I come back down. So working on this sequence properly will give you more opportunities at playing better golf and lowering your score. So never overlook aim.